So my first year, um, so I, I had the farm, but they told me a farm is going to take time, right? Which I knew that because right. they need to get to know you. Yeah. Um, but they said work with buyers. So I was putting buyers in my car and taking buyers everywhere. Um, and open houses, you said. And open houses, right. yes. So I'd get the buyers from yeah. open houses um, at floor time. Right. Um, and uh, the – Imagine being new today, no floor time, no open houses. Now you just reinvent yourself. Yeah. You know, how many times have you had to reinvent yourself yeah. as the as the business morphs and changes, yeah. right? Yeah. There's there's other ways to do it. It's just harder for a new person. I don't know that it's harder. Really? I think it's just different. I think there's other areas that are much easier now, like these young people who, it's interesting. I saw some guy and he has like, I don't know, 20,000 Instagram followers, but he doesn't sell any houses. But right. like he just does these videos and post stuff right. and all of that. Yeah. So maybe he gets busy. Maybe that's how he cultivates his business. Right. right? Maybe that's his. Someday it'll turn his, into something. Yeah. Maybe, or, yeah. Or at least he's getting business from his friends and his social right. sphere. Right. Because our, how, how I was always trained to, uh, connect with my sphere in the stages first, whatever, until the internet, t till, what did it come about? Uh, a couple, 2000, 2000 yeah. but really Something, yeah. social media didn't really no. until 2008, nine yeah. ish. Yeah. Probably didn't really take hold 10, 11, right. 12. Um, yeah. Facebook was, let's see, my space was just fading out in about 07. Yeah. And people weren't, it, it was Facebook like, was yeah. coming in. My space was going out kind of thing. Yeah. But, but yeah, the world wasn't on it yet. No, it was just college kids mostly. Yeah. Right. And yeah. then it started to explode. Yeah. Um, but, uh, the four guys in the back, so there was a board, a white board in the back of the right. office and it would say every time they sold a house, they put their name up there. Right. And I thought, Oh, I have to get my name up there. So I went back there. So it was the office board. Yeah. The office board. Okay, I got it, yeah. So I go look at it and I'm like, okay, they're selling four or five houses a month. I guess that's what I have to do. So again, I had no preconceived notion of what was good. What, yeah. And then what it was all about. Right. So all of a sudden. I just started, I was taking these buyers out and working these buyers, like, you know, tell me what you want. I'll find it for you. And I would, and I'd work it hard. Right. And by, I think my, I don't remember if I was five or six months in and I sold like four houses in a month and they were all shocked. In and one I, month. Yeah. Wow. Because, and they were all shocked and I couldn't understand why they were shocked. I'm like, well, that's what everybody's doing. So isn't that what I'm supposed to do? Like right. I had no outside reference to, right. you can't do that. 